Raymond Chow was surprised to hear that Bruce Lee would direct The Way of the Dragon. Raymond Chow, a legendary figure in the Hong Kong film industry and Bruce Lee's producer, witnessed Bruce Lee's transformation from a martial artist to a movie superstar. In the spring of 1972, while Raymond Chow was watching The Big Boss, starring Bruce Lee, his friend Ding Pei came to visit. Ding Pei was not only an actor in Raymond Chow's company but also a close friend of Bruce Lee. Ding Pei told Raymond Chow that after completing the filming of Fist of Fury, Bruce Lee decided no longer to cooperate with director Luo Wei but to direct a movie called The Way of the Dragon himself and hoped that Raymond Chow could be the producer. Raymond Chow always held a very high evaluation of Bruce Lee's martial arts talents, but he was initially surprised by Bruce Lee's ability to successfully transition to a director. However, he was eventually moved by Bruce Lee's talent and determination and agreed to be the producer. Ding Pei then handed Raymond Chow Bruce Lee's invitation letter and informed him that the filming location was in Rome, Italy. Raymond Chow decided to go to Rome in person to see how Bruce Lee was filming. When he arrived at the set, he saw Bruce Lee wearing a white vest, discussing martial arts movements with a strong man. Although Raymond Chow himself was not proficient in martial arts, he had a certain understanding of it and had received the Golden Bahinia Star. He immediately recognized Bruce Lee and was impressed by his martial arts skills. Bruce Lee's outstanding performance in The Big Boss made Raymond Chow believe that he could successfully promote kung fu movies internationally. Bruce Lee was not only a martial artist but also a master of martial arts, bringing Chinese kung fu to Hollywood and the world, making it a popular culture. Raymond Chow realized that Bruce Lee's talent was far more than just martial arts. He was a true genius. During the filming of The Way of the Dragon, Raymond Chow witnessed how Bruce Lee perfectly combined his martial arts philosophy with the art of filmmaking to create classic works.